Ever since mankind witnessed phenomenon provided by nature, people have been both frightened and amazed by the power of the elements. Believing that water is the source of life, it is difficult to imagine something so violent and destructive as the mythic boar tide phenomenon, referred to in the local Indian dialect as Pororoka. The Pororoka, or Great Roar, is known throughout the Amazon basin from Sao Domingos do Capim to the Amazonian state of Amapá. Amapá is located in the northeastern portion of Brazil's northern region. It is bordered on its north by French Guiana and Suriname, and on its western side by the Brazilian state of Pará. Boar tides occur in approximately 30 different locations around the world. But the largest and most spectacular boar tide is found in the river Araguari in the state of Amapá in the heart of the Brazilian jungle. Because of its large volume of water, the Amazon River usually flows out into the ocean for many kilometers. However, in the dry season between February and March, when the river is comparatively shallow, the situation reverses. Twice a year during the phases of the full moon and the new moon, the sun and the moon align with the earth, and their combined gravitational on the oceans is at their peak. The ocean tides are at their highest. The Pororoca is created when the flood tide of the Atlantic rushes into the mouth of the river. Reversing the flow of the river creates a fast-moving water swell that travels upstream with a tremendously destructive force. Swells as high as 3 to 6 meters are sustained for as long as 45 minutes. The boar tide on the Araguari can travel up to 30 kilometers per hour sometimes extending up to two kilometers across the river. The Amazon River and its tributaries carry huge masses of fertile earth and flotsam into the water, eroding the river banks and giving the river its muddy color. As a result of the sediment deposition, the entrance to the sea is less steep and allows the ocean tide to enter the river with the most powerful force. Due to the uneven nature of the riverbed, the resulting wave is unpredictable in its height, force, and duration. Some surfers say it is harder to surf in rivers than in the ocean. Because of the lack of salt, they need to struggle much more to keep themselves afloat. Although the Indians of the river have navigated the Pororoca in canoes when necessary, for them, the overwhelming wave is primarily a bringer of death and destruction. Their huts are built on stilts as a precaution, but as the sea pours into the far-reaching lowlands, much of their year's work is wiped out. The arrival of the massive boar tide is furious and loud but a calm pervades as the waters gently recede. For the river's inhabitants, another yearly cycle is complete. They have survived the wrath of the river, which is also essential to their life. <laughs>